Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so we just finished talking about photosynthesis. We discussed how the chloroplast of a plant takes in radiant energy from the sun. The radiant energy is converted into chemical energy. Right. The radiant energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of glucose. I remember that glucose is a sugar, which makes it a carbohydrate. Can't the cell use glucose as energy? Well, they can, as long as the cell converts glucose into energy the cell can use. So even though an autotroph can make its own food, it still has to convert that food into a usable energy. So once the autotroph or plant cell makes glucose, it has to convert the glucose to another form of energy? Correct. All organisms, including plants and animals, use cellular respiration to convert the chemical energy in glucose into another form of chemical energy that is usable by the cell. What do we call the usable cellular energy? All organisms have to convert glucose into usable cellular energy that we call ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and is another form of chemical energy. ATP is an energy carrier molecule in cells. I heard you say that ATP is energy the cell can use. That's easy to remember. Now, is there a chemical equation for cellular respiration like we have for photosynthesis? Yes, there is. In cellular respiration, glucose and oxygen react to produce carbon dioxide and water and ATP. The chemical equation for cellular res respiration is C6H1206 plus 6O2 yields 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus ATP. So if I compare photosynthesis and cellular respiration by looking at their chemical equations, I can say that they almost have an inverse relationship. The reactants of photosynthesis are products of the cellular respiration and vice versa. Right, so remember in chemical equations, the reactants, or the raw materials, are on the left side of the arrow and the products are on the right. So the glucose and the oxygen that is produced in photosynthesis are the reactants for cellular respiration. Yes, and the carbon dioxide and water that are produced in cellular respiration are the reactants in photosynthesis. So where does cellular respiration take place in the cell? Cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria of both plant cells and animal cells. So that's where the term powerhouse of the cell comes from. Mitochondria take glucose molecules and turn them into ATP. You got it. If plants are autotrophs, then animals are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs do not make their own food. They must consume food from a different source to get their glucose. I see. You and I need to eat breakfast. I will have that breakfast taco here soon. <laughs> lunch and dinner every day to take to get our glucose so hetero means different and troph means nutrition right heterotrophs and autotrophs both need to use the process of cellular respiration to convert glucose to atp so all organisms go through the process of cellular respiration not just animals that's right now there are two types of cellular respiration i want to tell you about one is aerobic respiration which happens when oxygen is available in the cell's environment this type produces a lot of ATP for the cell. What is the other kind? Anaerobic respiration happens when there's no oxygen in the cell's environment. This type produce, produces much less ATP for the cell. I think that AN in front of the word means without. Is that right? Yeah. Anaerobic means without oxygen. I want to summarize what you told me about cellular respiration. Cells need to convert glucose to ATP so that cells can meet their energy needs for processes such as active transport and to keep everything working. Aerobic respiration produces much more ATP because oxygen is available. This process happens in the mitochondria. That's right. So the chemical equation for cellular respiration is as follows. Glucose plus six molecules of oxygen react to produce six molecules of carbon dioxide plus six molecules of water, plus ATP. Please be sure to write this in your notes. So what's the big deal about ATP? Cells use ATP for their energy needs. Remember, ATP means adenosine triphosphate. When the bonds break in ATP, a lot of energy is released, and that's what the cells use for all their processes. Here's a diagram of one mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is singular for mitochondria. Mitochondria are home of aerobic cellular respiration. 
oxygen is needed in order for it to be aerobic. This diagram is a nice summary of aerobic cellular respiration. Remember this happens and starts in the cytoplasm and with oxygen present continues in the mitochondria. Uh, first stage is glycolysis, second stage is through the Krebs cycle, and the third stage is through the electron transport chain. I want you to notice at each stage along the way ATP is made. Remember altogether there's a total of 36 ATP that are made from one molecule of glucose for aerobic respiration. This slide shows what happens to glucose when it goes through cellular respiration without oxygen and with oxygen. So without oxygen we call that anaerobic respiration and it ends with fermentation and only production of 2 ATP. When glucose is in a cell that has mitochondria and the presence of oxygen it produces a lot more ATP. And this part is called aerobic respiration, aerobic meaning with oxygen. A lot more ATP is produced, a total of 36. 34 plus 2 make 36 ATP. So how are chloroplasts and mitochondria related? Notice light, energy. Notice glucose and oxygen. Carbon dioxide, water, ATP. Write a summary sentence on how they're related.